As you know, pizza was invented in Naples, Italy, so it only makes sense that the pizza voted tops in New York City is Neapolitan. <laughs> Crystal's here. She's got the story of Rabalta. Yes, you got it. Where is Rabalta? So it is on East 12th Street, and it is very deceiving. You could kind of walk right by and not notice it, but when you walk in, it's very big with high ceilings. But this is why I'm happy to bring you this story today, because I feel like it's it's... It's a lot of election talk. It's a lot of heavy talk. So I'm going to talk about something that is totally bipartisan. It's pizza. Everybody loves pizza. And if you taste it at Rivalta, you will say thumbs up. Take a look. So the best pizza is always subjective. If you ask 10 people, you might get 10 different responses. But Rivalta on East 12th Street is voted the best by lots of different entities. So I figured this, I got to taste. Come on. Stepping into Rivalta is like stepping into a pizza shop in Naples, of course. More than 300 years ago, the Neapolitans created the pizza pie. Ooey gooey deliciousness. Ready in a flash. What do we do here? We try to bring the authentic recipe from over 300 years ago by sourcing the right ingredients, using the right technique, the right oven, and a lot of passion. Rabalta has a full bar and lots of other things on the menu, but it's the pizza that keeps racking up the awards. Too many to mention, but here's the big ones. New York Magazine. For absolute best pizza in New York, and for the best spaghetti al pomodoro, which is another signature dish of Ribalta. Time out, best gluten-free pizza. We are very well known for our gluten-free as well. At the New York City Food and Wine Festival, Ribalta's pizza was voted best pizza in NYC. So what makes Neapolitan pizza different from all the rest? The crust is only made with the four ingredients. Okay. Flour, water, sea salt, and a bit of yeast. Okay. So there is no egg, no sugar, no anything else. It cooks in a wood burning oven mm -hmm. for less than 90 seconds. Oh. So it cooks very fast and uh, it stays a little bit, I would say, soft. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of fragrance, but it's not crunchy at all. The sauce is not a cooked sauce, but it's just crushed tomato and very fresh ingredients. Finally, it was time to stop talking and start tasting. So here we are. Ready to dive in. It looks delicious. Forget about the fork and the knife. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. like Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. it's got basil. The light, bubbly crust is one visual indication you've got a Neapolitan pizza. We actually use very small amount of yeast, mm -hmm. a larger amount of water, mm -hmm. and we let it ferment for much longer time, okay. 48 to 72 hours. That helps the pizza to properly ferment and raise, and it becomes so light, easy to digest, and uh, the easier effect you're gonna feel on you. After you eat this pizza, you're not gonna feel bloated, you're not gonna be thirsty. I was several slices in before Ross pointed out that I was eating it incorrectly. He says you'll know if it's legit if you fold the crust and it doesn't break. Who knew? So we okay. fold as if it was a wallet. Oh, oh. So if you can fold the pizza like this <laughs> and it doesn't break, that's a real Neapolitan pizza. <laughs> so the way to eat, you go and buy it. Okay, wait, so do you just bite Be from the Be careful when you get to the end, it's hot. Okay, but really? you do start at the you top? You start at the top and you slowly move it towards <laughs> the butt. Okay, uh, real, clearly Neapolitan pizza. Now we have a real Neapolitan connoisseur. Okay. Okay, okay. Coming to Ribalta, it's like going to Italy without nine hour flight, without a passport. <laughs> just walk through the door and you're in Italy. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Yum. Well, they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. We're going to have to check your DNA because I know that is also true for First you. First of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know I love my pizza. I do. Morning, noon, and night. I do. I do. And yesterday I said, do you like Neapolitan pizza? And your response was, I like every kind of pizza. Exactly. What okay. Am I? All right. But like, let, let's taste a little number one. You got it, right? You fold out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Good, right? Fresh. Fresh. Exactly. Fresh, it's a little ooey gooey. And I have to say, I mm. normally am a, you know, give me crispy or give me death, you know, give me liberty or give me death. But this mm. made me see another side of pizza that I didn't know that I might like, Neapolitan. I oh. am so happy right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, Thank Naples, you. there you go. And I know you have a long day, you get up early, so you need a little pizza break yeah. in the a.m.
before Act, 10 a.m. And after those election results, exactly. yes, we, we need pizza. You got it. Chew, and at least your stomach will be happy.